Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Brain Talks, the place where you find diverse and scientifically accurate information regarding psychology, psychotherapy, neuropsychology, neuroscience and research methods every single week. My name is Bruno Faustino, I am a licensed clinical psychologist and neuropsychologist who has been working as a therapist, researcher and educator for the past few years. Here in Mind Brain Talks, I discuss and describe different topics from psychology to neuroscience and I try to explain them the best as I can for you to understand a little bit more about it. All contents here are just for educational purposes and it's not intended to diagnose any psychiatric condition or neurological disorder. So, without further delay, let's jump for today's content. So today, let's talk about reasoning and speed of processing. This domain typically is a domain that is very important in neuropsychology because it's the domain that we can see how individuals are processing the information. But first, let's see the manuals that I recommend to you today. The first is the principles of neuropsychology. The second is the fundamentals of human neuropsychology. The third is the neuropsychology handbook. The fourth is the handbook of clinical neuropsychology. It's the second edition. The fifth is the neuropsychological assessment and the sixth is the clinical neuropsychology. So now let's take a brief look on reasoning and processing speed. Reasoning is associated with every major human achievement that encompasses art, engineering, mathematics, philosophy, culture and so forth. Reasoning is also associated with the thought process and with problem solving which is several abilities which are usually developed in human species. Processing speed is also extremely important in every cognitive process associated with reasoning, academic or job performance and intellectual development. So now let's see specifically how we can define these two, these two cognitive processes. So let's start with reasoning. Reasoning typically is associated to the act of thinking and involves using logic and intellect to produce a conclusion or a judgment about something. It's also associated with the abstraction and intelligence. Typically, we can describe deductive and inductive reasoning and reasoning process may also be prone to fallacies, heuristics and cognitive distortion. Don't worry, in the future I will produce different videos focused specifically on these aspects of the reasoning process, ok? Processing speed is a cognitive ability required in every cognitive domain because in every mental operation that we use in our daily life because if we do not process quickly our mental contents these mental contents as we saw in the previous presentation about memory these mental contents tend to be forgotten because they are not encoded okay so processing speed is very important in the encoding process processing speed may also be described as the time it takes to a person to do a mental task it may also be described as the time that an individual takes to understand and to react to a given information that was received, of course. So, it may be also viewed as the time between receiving and responding to a given stimulus. Both reasoning and processing speed are very important in planning and organizing thoughts in daily life activities. They are also very, very important in problem solving, decision making starting tasks and an in complex attentional process which were described previously. Typically reasoning and processing speed are associated with the frontal lobe. There are several aspects described as the higher order cognition that are typically associated with the frontal lobe. Some features or executive skills or higher order cognitive skills may be described as planning, mental organization, problem solving, decision making, personality traits or personality as a whole, abstraction and judgment. So reasoning is involved in all of these higher order cognitive traits, higher order cognitive functions, ok? So now let's see the summary and key points. We saw that reasoning and processing speed is an essential human feature, both are required to process mental contents. Both are also required to normal human functioning in everyday life and we saw that reasoning is also associated with the frontal lobe. Well, it's all for today. 
Don't forget to see the video description regarding today's theme if you want to see the manuals and the books that I recommend to you. Also, if you like what I'm doing, please consider to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. You can use the comment section below to express your mind and to express your thoughts. Let me know what you think about all the things that you saw here. Welcome to Mind Brain Talks and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!